When Warren emerged, it was the best thing that had happened to cricket for a long time. Cricket found me. I was a man on a mission. I wasn't taking any prisoners. I felt we had a weapon that no one else in world cricket had. I'm getting a bit nervous in my hands now thinking about it. One of the few rock and roll sportsmen, and I think people really liked that about him. You could not take your eyes off him when he bowled spin. All of a sudden, the kids in the school wanted to bowl leg spin because of Shane Warne. And even I get swept up in it, even though I know it's ridiculous. <laughs> I got my hand up. I wanted to be Shane Warne. I wouldn't hesitate uh, putting Shane's name right there amongst the top spinners who have ever played the game. I was front page, back page, middle page, and everything was good. There is always a human cost in the pursuit of greatness. You have to make sacrifices to be an international sportsman. And to be the best, you've got to be selfish. Cricket was always my number one priority. And that doesn't mean I didn't value my family, but they were second. This is a player that transcended his sport. And that's why people were so fascinated by him. So you can imagine this staircase of, of fame and adulation and the staircase of scandal that, that followed it. Lots of happy memories, lots of sad memories. We only ever saw him as dad. So I can appreciate those sacrifices he made when we were younger for him to be Shane Warne, who he is today. He's larger than life. He's Shane Warne.